we're getting ready to close. So I'm going to put you all some pressure on you, on you. Now, ladies, 20 second responses. Okay. Okay. 20 second responses. And in your response, I want you to make sure for those who are listening and learning about your businesses, they probably have seen your faces, but learning about your businesses for the first time and what you do. Make sure you tell the name of your business and also give some parting wisdom advice for these entrepreneurs who are literally, um, if like me, first generation entrepreneurship. So learning as they go and building as they climb. Renee, the pressure is on you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. 20 seconds. Shot clock. Yes. All right. I would say nobody's going to know your brand or love your brand as much as you do. So whenever you have your instinct about what direction you want your brand to go, trust your instinct. People are going to always try to shift it and pull it to somewhere they think it should go. But make sure that you know yourself, know your brand and know where you're going before you start. 20 seconds. Good job, Dr. Joy. And your company is? <laughs> My company is Therapy for Black Girls. You can find us at therapyforblackgirls.com all of the resources and information you need to prioritize your health as a black woman or a girl. Um, I think that my closing wisdom would be to make sure that in all of the busyness, you are still cultivating moments of stillness and quiet so that you can really learn to listen to yourself. Pinky. Hey y'all, I'm back. <laughs> Pinky Cole, CEO and founder of Slutty Vegan ATL. Um, and my one piece of advice is do it scared. So everybody is in here for a reason. Either we are the ones having the conversation and somebody is listening. We all have businesses. We all are leaders. But do it scared. Every great accomplishment that I've ever gotten in my life, there was something called beautiful fear that made me so afraid to do something. But I was so clear to rise above and challenge myself to be the best that I could be, that I did it anyway. And I conquered that fear. So whatever it is, it's making your belly leap. That's, that's causing you to dream and think big all the time. Do it scared because I promise you, if that thing is in your gut, that means that you're in alignment and that's the thing that God has you to do. Molly. I'm hitting the timer because you know I'm long-winded sometimes. <laughs> so um, I'm Molly, I'm CEO and founder of Earth Girl and Stonewood Manor. Um, I would say, you know, the success that I've seen from the men that I work with is because they have a team. Mm. Find your squad, find your team, keep searching for that person, but also don't be afraid to start small. And if you get to a place where you don't have anything, closed mouths don't get fed. Put that pride aside and ask, 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 knock on the door. Because if you, sometimes I know I'm irritating. I will knock until you're like, just give it to her. God, I'm sick of her knocking. Don't. Don't be too shy and too much pride to ask for help. We all need it. And be in oh, I, I do a timeout. I need to ask for help right now. So that I want to take your advice. I just started a campaign called Moments Equal Momentum because a lot of people didn't understand why I opted out. And I thought that this moment could turn into a momentum, which it has. And so momentsequalmomentum.com, I'm raising $3 million for Morris Brown College. They're unaccredited right now. They've been unaccredited for 20 years. So if you know somebody that knows somebody that wants to pick up an HBCU that is down, down, like- I actually I know two people. So hit me, um, literally. Beautiful, Sorry. thank you guys. Cause I'm scared. And to Piki's point, I told Dr. Key, you can attest to this. I called her scared. I was like, 3 million is a lot. I was terrified. I'm like, that's what Dr. Kevin James, that's the president of the school told me. That's the amount that would get them like back functioning. And I called Dr. Key scared. So what Pinky what did, did I tell you? I'm like you can attest to this, Dr. <laughs> like I'm like, yo, they are talking to me right now. So let me just take this moment to say, like, I need help. I've never even raised money. And I'm about to try to pick a whole HBCU up. So I would love some help. Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, what you said in here. I said I'd love to be a part of that. So let's connect. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I did tell her, and then we're gonna close with um, with Nicole. I did tell Renee when she called three million. That's lightweight. <laughs> I, I had to speak to her in the <laughs> language of an athlete, <sighs> and then she could see the goal. She could see the finish line. And to Molly's point, when you have the right tribe, they can tell you that's lightweight because I'm gonna help you carry it. <laughs> Not lightweight because you that's what Earth Girl's all about. We lift each other. Yes, I'm so grateful for Kim Page and. 
and mm-hmm. Kelly and the, the women that I have that really support me. And, and it makes me feel good because my whole life I've been a giver, but I've never had that. But mm-hmm. about eight years ago, I had women who came in. I see what you're doing, Pinky, with the other HBCUs. I see what you've done. And and we got your back, girl. Thank you. You're, you're asking for someone else. That should be easy. Yeah. <laughs> we can ask for ourselves. It's so scary, though. I'm like, three million? I was like, I, I told you. I called Dr. Key like, all right, I'm scared. No, we got this. I raised money. Yeah. That's what I do. That's a funny thing. Nicole, the ambassador for Born to Roll. <laughs> Give us some parting advice. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> How am I supposed to go after these queens? What am I supposed to say? Uh-huh. Everything they said was right on point. You know I don't like it when I can't see you. Can you <laughs> Okay. Make sure you tell us the name of your company and then give us the advice. I'm Nicole Laurie Parker. I'm the founder and creator of The Gym Rap. And I uh, agree with everything that was said. You know your brand better than anyone else, so be an advocate for your own dream. I had to roll my little suitcase up to Bentonville, Arkansas, just like everybody else. They didn't care that I was on a TV show or that my husband was cute. They didn't care. <laughs> I, had to, I had to pitch my product just like every other buyer, you know, a uh, uh, vendor, just like everyone else. So, and I had to advocate for myself. So there, yes, I had to learn to take care of my mental health and breathe and sit still. And yes, like Pinky, I had to be scared and do it anyway. Mm. And then I had to find my squad and I also had to not be afraid to ask questions. If you don't know what a patent is, ask somebody. It's not that big of a deal. Somebody did it already. And then finally, I would say you already have the no. So go for the yes. You, you, if you're just sitting there, you already at zero. You don't have to keep affirming zero. Go for the yes. And then the next yes, and the next yes, and keep on rolling. There's your little born to roll in there. <laughs> well, ladies, this has been an incredible experience. And for all the entrepreneurs and fangirls of y'all who are tuning in, I am Dr. Lakeisha Hallman, Dr. Key, founder of the Village Market ATL. And the purpose of the village is simple we create space because we are stronger together. And I am deeply grateful to be inspired by you all because when I literally look in the mirror, I see you as well. And that is the part of humanity and what we are building. So you all, blessings on blessings on blessings. And thank you so much for your time, your excellence, your beauty, all that you exude, the world needs. Thank you. We're so grateful. Thank you. Thank you for hosting us. Company.